everyone. Let me drop down the music real quick and switch webcams over and we will get this. I was thinking of two different sayings here and I can't decide which one I want to go with. Get this party going. There we go. Oh, Lindsay's all over there. There we go. Hey, everyone. How's everyone doing? I see Luck, Limtops, KG, and Karibu in chat. Happy that you all are here. Welcome. And, oop, that's what I wanted to check real quick. You all will not be able to hear this, but I wanted to check the volume on my end. So let me just check that real quick. And then we'll get into showing off what I received. Ooh, that does sound good. Awesome. Cool, cool, cool. All right. So yes, I did receive something special from Illustrals today in the mail. It was a bit of a surprise. I knew it was coming, but it was a bit of a surprise that I received it. Hey, JK. Welcome to the chat. So yeah, I knew it was coming. And full disclosure, say happy birthday to me, to my girlfriend, or else I'm on something. Well, happy birthday to your girlfriend. Happy hey, March, March birthdays. Both Lindsay and I have a March birthday, so that's great. Um, yeah, so I was, <laughs> so yeah, I, um, knew it was coming, just was surprised when I found out that I was receiving something. Now I have fully seen what is inside of it. Thank you, Tails. <laughs> All right. Was that to Lindsay? You were here for my birthday stream. So I'm assuming that's to Lindsay, <laughs> but yeah, uh, I have seen what it was. I did get to see it in the staff server. So that was part of the reason I also wanted Lindsay here was because she'll have a more genuine reaction because she's got no clue what I'm receiving here. <laughs> there you go. So with that being said, Lindsay, without pulling up the box on stream so we don't dox ourselves, do you want to get that open? <laughs> it's the fun in this. Make sure that you can still somewhat see her. Yeah, she has not seen any of it, but thank you, Tails. Yeah, it's a big box, isn't it? Ooh, let me get my keyboard out of the way. Yeah. It's heavy. It is. Isn't that a cool box, though? Okay. No one can see it. No one can see it. Oh, she's hogging it. Yeah, this is a big box. Very, very, colorful. Very colorful. The colors pop so nicely. Like, look at that. Fortunately, the lights are kind of glaring off of it. There you go. That's not too bad. But that looks great. You got the spirits symbol. Got Volt Tempest. It's an FF booster box. Oh, that'd be hype. Oh, we got the official Lestrals channel joining us in here. I'm assuming that's Dan. Thank you for joining. Stellar luck. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have fun. Be hyped to get a Stellar, but most of all, I'm just excited to see what's in here. Tech Taurus on the side. That looks awesome. Yep. And let's move over to the camera view. Let's hope my phone hasn't turned off since then. Let's... Uh, desk view. Let's see... Yay, it didn't. Yay. <laughs> We're good. So you can also see it from here. But I figure I want to go to this view just to, it'll better show off what's inside. Oh, yep. Lindsay pointed out here, we got the first edition mark here just to kind of show off. So let's see what is in this huge box. Like, I mean, you can see it covers pretty much the entire span of the play mat here. Almost Dan, KG. <laughs> so you, KG? <laughs> well, welcome as well. That is... That is hilarious. <laughs> what do you mean? I don't know. See, saying almost Dan feels insulting to you. I don't know if it's insulting to you or not. You're your own person. You're awesome. All right. Oh, this is going to be hard to show off. Let's see if I can get it underneath the stand here because there's so much. Like you can see on the inside here, you've got the Illustrals, of course. Like it feels just appropriate to show off the fact that the inside of the box is all nicely uh, decked printed that's what i'm looking for which makes a lot of sense the booster boxes do the same thing try not to obscure everything i do not have enough room on my desk i can't even see it but we got some bubble wrap in here all right i think that's fine got a little card here i did read this earlier it's just a nice note from dan and the illustrals team just saying thank you for supporting and can't yeah can't see well what can't see that Maybe. yeah the, this delay. the screen can see it yeah no that's delayed <laughs> just a sweet little note here all in all, just thanking for making content, live streaming and all that and supporting the game. So that's really sweet. Fortunately, I can't see the chat, so hold on. Let's see, I can push it down. Hey, Wurtz. Oh, now it's Dan. <laughs> I've got 20 minutes, crack, crack, go, 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 okay. <laughs> Dan too, 
Y'all are great. So yeah, as you can see here, we got a bunch of goodies here. We got a booster box, of course. We got all five starter decks here. Got the Flurmine pin. Just a lot of goodies. And this is actually great. I was saying the other, um, yesterday I was putting cards into, because I got a binder for Elastrals, and I was putting cards in here. Oh, I com almost well, completely forgot. That. I didn't forget. This is the updated roadmap for Elastrals. Let me get it zoomed in there so y'all can see looks very crisp but just kind of updated since they're the roadmap we saw at the beginning of the year there was some slight delays especially in like the shattered star stuff but this one just has it all ironed out into a more official release schedule with frostfall dropping in may so exciting there love to see it these graphics look great don't they yeah the, the graphics team did phenomenal with that one but yeah just a bunch of goodies in here uh that's what i was saying i have a binder i was putting cards in it from my live stream last week where i was opening a ton of stuff on friday and part of me kind of wished I bought one of each star deck just to have all the first edition star decks, mainly for the cards to put in my binder. Really wish I had gotten that. But yeah, I'll start taking these out. Let's just kind of go through them and not do that. So yes, you got one of each starter deck. You want to move it over? Yeah, we'll, I'll pull them out. We can move it over here. Just so we can actually have room to another chance at the Stellar Majesty? Yeah, I'll move it. Yep, just want to get them all. Two blister packs, so another Noggin Ambrosia for me. Let's see if my luck can improve on these blister packs, because I am I got notorious bad luck in these blister packs. Shattered Stars, one of each. That's really nice. Funny story about the Shattered Star packs, actually. Larry asked me, Red Baron asked me, to buy him another one since he lives out in Japan and hand it over, or like, buy it for him, so and I can give it to him when I see him next, because I will be going to Japan next year, just because he wanted to save a Shattered Stars pack. So it's kind of funny that end of game one here as well. And then we got a playmat. Looks like the Aeolus playmat. I'll have to actually uh, roll this out and put it on my desk. I feel like that's very appropriate for here. Booster box and a galaxy promo. That's awesome. I actually needed a third one to complete my playset, so that is awfully convenient. So the other reason I wanted to leave this on stream here, let's get the bubble wrap out of here, is just to show the inside of the box. Because of course there's just more stuff in here. You can see the Voltempets, you can see the Tectoros, you've got the Elestral symbol here, and I can't see the bottom side. I think it's just another Elestral symbol there on this inside this looks great All right, this is a really cool box so mm -hmm. yeah it's just a white bottom here but that makes sense all the cards are covering up anyway but yeah just really cool whoever set this up the design did a phenomenal job and it turned out great let's 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 clean it up here all right i'm going to switch back to uh no i need to do this be able to see it myself so let's just do it here let's get this play mat open so it's the island of aeolia one Shout out, uh, really a good callback to when I played Wind in the first Elestrals Championship League that we all did, pushing a year come May, which is kind of crazy. Hey, Baron, glad you could join. It did come. Uh, funny enough, comes with one Shadow Stars pack. <laughs> the one you're looking for. So, callback to when I piloted Wind in the first Elestrals Championship League to fourth place. That's really cool to see. Let's my second Elestrals playmat, so I don't have to just use the one. That looks awesome. Honestly, we'll just keep it on like that. We'll double stack mats. That's Ooh. fine. Gorgeous. I actually do really like this artwork here. You got the Lycoris at the bottom. This looks great. Maybe I'll get some Wind Stellar luck from that Shatter Stars pack. All right. So let's see. Where do we want to start? I feel like we want to save the booster box for one of the last ones. How about we start with some starter decks? Majesty, I want to save... ECL call it. Let's go. Yes. Fun times. Um. So yeah, we have, I want to do the Majesty one. I'll save it for last. See if I can hit the Stellar. So we've got Centaurber, Trifernal, Imperial. Which one do you want, Lindsay, to open? Which one to pick? Um. You get the Pantera because it's closest. So I'll start with the Centaurber. Ooh, more plastic for us to open. <laughs> Watch me struggle. <laughs> Oh, you have no idea how much I was struggling on Friday with everything I opened. I also have to show off the Lego, because I finished building that over the weekend that I started last stream. So I'll show that off at the end of the stream, because it turned out really nice. I know I texted Luck the pictures of it, so he can attest how gorgeous it looks. So I'll just show that off. Hi. Come on. Yes, you win. <laughs> I just got my nails last night, too, so I don't even have the good nails anymore to open it. There we go. No, I don't want to rip it. No, um, can you get the green uh, yeah. tool? That's real clean to cut it out. All right, let's see. There we go. Got it. I'm not throwing trash on the floor this time. That's because Lindsay's here. She got a trash can, unlike last time. 
I love seeing the colors here. And I also have packaging because one thing I've also been doing is I've been storing like packaging to hopefully make a scrapbook someday with it. So having more packaging for that is awesome. So crisp. Oh, and Lindsay's popping bubble wrap because <laughs> her chair is on it. Yeah. Uh, the packaging looks to be the same artworks and whatnot from Kickstarter. But again, just the colors from this print run pop so much more. It's great. So, all right, cool. We got our tool here so we can start cracking it open. Let's, no, I'll keep the floor mine pen off screen. We don't need it on there. So let's see, you got yours? Almost, okay. So we can do that. Really, if of any of the stars I wanna get, Majesty would be awesome because Majesty is one of my favorites. I know Baron has some PTSD from it for how I beat him in the last ECL season in game one. That was a fun. Oh, and I get more dice. Yes. <laughs> Not that I need more dice. I literally have two of each, or no, I have two of each from Kickstarter of all of them except the Centarber and Trifernal one where I have three because I bought a third one. And now I'm getting a third one of each and a fourth one of the Majesty and Pantera because I bought one of each from Kickstarter. So, oh, well, I should have told you beforehand. You're... What? Stream doesn't see it. So the top card would be the Stellar. Oh. And Dice looks gorgeous as well, <laughs> Baron. Mm, <laughs> Sorry for is. calling you out there. All right, let's see. All right, so let me flip it upside down. I was not given instructions. Yes, that, that was my bad. All right, so <laughs> you can probably already tell. I'll just flip mine up in three, two, one. Nope, regular Centaurver. Still pretty cool. And Lindsay got regular Pantera as well. <laughs> that is fine. Uh, these are fine. We don't need to open them just yet. So yeah, that works. You can even leave the cards over there. Um, I kind of want to take I'll take quickly take this apart. All right, so the Cerberus or chicken, or no preference? <laughs> no, no preference. Okay, you get the chicken. I'm calling you chicken. I'm not calling you the. Ch I said the chicken. It's Imperial. All right, let's see. Trifernal and Imperial. Is it? Is it actually? Then I was told wrong. I thought it was the card in front of it. Because I know in uh, with the Sprouters and whatnot it was. Hold on. Can you... Where are they? Let's check it. So, KG, if I'm understanding this correctly, not only do you get the Hollow, you also get a Stellar version of it, meaning you would get two. Is that correct? Let's see. Awesome, thank you. Well, if we'll, it's not that we'll be able to tell unless one of us gets <laughs> yeah, a stellar. I, have one. I must have misunderstood Alex and Tails when we were opening uh, decks on Friday. In part, it was the case. Yeah, I remember it was the case for the Sprouters and the and whatnot. Was sure about this one. All right, do you want to put yours on screen to do it simultaneously? Yeah, you can get it. Ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> Still, a lot of great cards in here. I'll move those over there. Thank you. All right. You know, I should check to see what stellars have been found so far from everything. I know all the secret stars have been found from first edition. I haven't been paying attention if all every if all the starter deck stellars have been found. Like, of course we know them. I don't know if someone's pulled one of each of them so far. Let's see. All right, let's see. Next up, so I've got Trifernal. Lindsay's got Imperial. Let's see if we can get Stellar Doggo or Stellar Chicken. Did not split well. There we go. All right. These dice look so good. Pantera one as well. I should pull them out because I have Kickstar ones over there. These do look a bit different, but honestly, it's kind of refreshing considering the, not majorly, just some of the patterns are a bit different, but it's also kind of refreshing considering I already have 
ones from Kickstarter and just get some that look even a little bit different. All right. Enough rambling while Lindsay and I try to get the boxes open. <laughs> the plastic shrugging. Yep. Well, first let's do this. Just flip them over. Ready? Are they still on top still? That's fine. Yeah. Just in case the stall is on top. We haven't confirmed that yet. Right? Three. Yeah. <laughs> Three, two, one. Nope. <laughs> All right, now you can get the plastic off. We'll yep. see. All right. Collapsed. And opened. Hi, Chaos. Hey, Chaos. Hey, Glad you could join. Uh, let's see if we can get this plastic off. This is going to be the bane of our existence is just getting the plastic off. No joke, from opening so many cards last uh, Friday, I've got a bruise on my thumb again, just like from Kickstarter. <laughs> Those plaques are no joke. All right, three, two, one. Nope. <laughs> I'm being called away. All right. Later. <laughs> Hope to see you back later. All right, you'll, I'm sure I'll fill you in later, uh, Larry. You watched the VOD? Okay. Thought the Stella was behind the top one. I'm not sure because if it's like an additional card or not. Not here. I th I think one has been pulled in general, but I'm not sure. I haven't been keeping up with it. All right, I'm going to do the Majesty one now. This is saving the best for last. I'll be tempted to keep a Stellar Majesty because I like Majesty so much. I think the big one I would want to... Stellar, I'd want to keep if there was ever a Stellar Capricorn. I love that. Only a single Pantera has been pulled. Okay. I, I can check the website later, assuming that all of them... You would hope that all of them would have been logged, but there's always a chance it's not. Oop, nick the box. All right, well, this is the best one to nick because I already have one sitting over on my shelf. Yeah, that's the one over there from what I ordered, so I nicked the box there. What the big box you got sent? Uh, it is the influencer box. So it's sent out to a bunch of influencers. I know Wurtz, who's also in chat, also got one as well. And it's just kind of for us a thank you for making content on Elestrals, the water dice here. Super awesome to see. If you can hang around, I can show off the box towards the end of the stream. Just kind of spread out so it's not the most conducive to grab and throw on to stream again. You can always like rewind a bit as well. And on Stellar Poles yet. Probably should start repping Stellar Poles again even more. I haven't been paying since social media, so you've probably been repping Stellar Poles as well with first edition coming. Good. I know on the back end, everyone's been hard at work trying to make sure the site's all updated and good for this first edition Shattered Stars Waves. Let's see. Oh, first off, nope. None there. Let's see if I can get this. Fortunately, it's not splitting. We'll get it. Did you get an email about getting it? Yes, I did. That's how I found out I was getting it, was I got an email. Yeah, I got an email. I was just like, Dan, what is this about? All right, let's see if it's behind here. Three, two, one. Nope, Sluggle. Good old Sluggle. So no Stellars from the starter decks. Nope, no Stellars so far. I do too. I've got the full art one. I wouldn't mind pulling a full art as well. Another full art Majesty from the booster box. Have a first edition one as well. I still have another one back here that I'm opening this weekend with luck. We're going to do something real fun and have that uploaded. And actually, I do have a Stellar. The Galaxy third one move that over there as well not too much to say there you can check it out though uh let's do shattered stars next yeah you can put it that's a good idea uh hold on i want to specifically <laughs> just because i was sorting them that way i want a water perfect. one water it's going to go on a water deck there you go mine would have shown up if i hadn't seen jacob mention it no <laughs> i'm sorry Wait, you didn't get an email about it? 
<laughs> yep, stellar. All right, I'm gonna take the wind pack if you want this after for shower stars. Just chill. Yeah, sure, we can just have that chill on stream. See you guys, look, stellar. <laughs> Hold the stellar, isn't this amazing? All right, let's see. So, another pack here. I mean, the, this will be my 11th pack for each month. So let's see if I can get a stellar out of these. I think the cards I am I would I'm most hoping for out of this pack. Ooh, nine more blisters. I mean, you order blisters, so you're guaranteed stellars. Just saying. Got an email that I didn't see until I checked after you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Checks his emails. Yeah, that was my bad. I shouldn't have assumed. Uh, from these packs, the generic runes. So this is shield or shield from the pack Lindsay has. Resting our lords from my pack, that'd be ideal, or the spirits. Those are the ones I like that would be most ideal from these. But of course, any one is just cool to see. All right, let's see it. So, of course, Hydrake, Aramare. These cards look amazing. Glidesdale. I love the artwork. Exaltair. Pelicorius. I forgot to take the spear out of the back. So, here you go. Pentair. That's appropriate. Ooh, shield. Awesome. I barely yep. Sorry. Yeah, Lindsay pulled a shield. <laughs> So no stellars from these packs, but hey, I got a shield. Pantera is pretty cool as well. Another Zapter. Funny enough, I had just sold off all my excess stock of this. <laughs> and now I got more. It's yet to arrive tomorrow shows up. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure, um, Ro. That's what I was asking kg about i thought it was the top one but then kg made a comment being behind it as like an extra card so i'm not sure i haven't seen anyone open it so i don't know another interesting thing i noticed about the shattered stars packs were month two is just set number wise a continuation of month one i thought it'd be its own separate thing but honestly that makes it easier to catalog for me um all these are fine just to be put aside for right now i can sleep them later we won't be out here for too long to not sleep them. Later, Wirtz. Hope work treats you well. Because I know it's a late one for you. Hi, Wirtz. All right. Do you want the Ambrosia or the Nog pack? Ambrosia. Not surprising. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Oh, is it confirmed one card down? That's good. One card down would be an extra grand SC. That's awesome. Okay. I actually really like that. Ugh. All right, I saved my packaging for these. I don't, I'm not trying to. Oh, I almost tossed in the trash can without taking out the Nog. That would have been bad. Of course, Nog, Stellar Nog, looking gorgeous. See if I can grab a sleeve here. Curl game on point, of course. Lindsay's got her Ambrosia. The generic sleeves. Ambrosia as well. Love seeing these. Was the we'll just put them like that. Alright. Blisters, finger destroys. Yup. Alright. Let's do a pack battle for this. See who gets the better pack. So got the nice Tectoros here. I am have notoriously bad luck with these. I don't think I pulled anything crazy out of the blisters I got for Kickstarter. And I only pulled one hollow. I believe it was an Exaltair. Ooh, that tore terribly. From the three blister or six blisters, so three of each, I opened on stream last Friday. So we'll see. How tacoed are they? I think they could keep in the fillings pretty easily. Oh, Lindsay just won. Okay. What? What? You... What? You just won. What was the plan? Oh, well, that's fine. I thought you were waiting for me. So Leviathan, Wormite. Smoltuga, Elichuk, Necra. Good mix here. Helios' Chariot Ride. You know, I wasn't paying attention. Okay, we did not get the road. That's a good sign. I know some of the packs have that issue. Earthquake, Hephaestus. There's one more after this. Ooh, Eruption. All right, and my hollow is Magic. That's appropriate. Majesty, I'll take it. What did you get, Lindsay? You've got no clue, do you? <laughs> Let's see. I know you like Jolton, Tadpuff, Sluggle, Rummagem. Golden Apple, Spinant, Ivory, Bomi! 
minus X. And a Leviathan. Alright, yep. So Blister Luck, still non-existent. But it's also a very small sample size when you consider how many hollows you get in a box. So it does make sense. Alright, so I think what we have left is now the Booster Box. And probably the, I shouldn't say most exciting, but we know there's going to be some cool stuff in here. So that's awesome. Open 70 KS Blisters and got 7 normal hollows out of them. Okay, well, I, I feel a bit better about my luck. I am sorry that you didn't have any luck there, but I know your name's ironic, so I guess you're just kind of maintaining your brand. All right. Let's get this open. I'll show the booster box off real quick for anyone in here who hasn't seen it or wants to see it again. Once I get the plastic off. As I struggle. All right. Colors really pop pop in this one. It looks so good. You got all the spirits in the front. Of course, Lestrals. Got all the pack arts with Stellar Tech Tauros. Full Tempest with Full Art Majesty. Really want that. Festus, Sparkin, a bunch of other cards. Looks awesome. All right, let's crack this open. That's my third Flurmine pin, too. <laughs> Starting an army of Flurmine pins here. Getting ready for Frostfall. All righty. So, I'm going to play the Do I Have the Stellar Vol Tempest box topper game. If I do, that's insane. Let's see it. Nope, regular Vol Tempest. Oh, this still looks awesome. Hey, and that's my third box topper. Sweet. So now I got my playset. I've got too many playsets of Vol Tempest. All right, so let's start cracking packs. There's a rogue pack on top. Oh, just, each just take half. Just take off the top. Let's get it. 7KS boost and got two Stellars and then two Thunder KS SDs and got one Stellar. Dang. <laughs> you just used up all your luck early, right, Chaos? That's totally what happened. I mean, I can't complain. I did open Stellar Exaltair from Kickstarter, so. All right, let's see. Let's play Pyro, Full Napple, Rummagem. What? Two in a row. Yep, I did notice that. Sometimes you get two in a row. Clovey, Sharon's Opal. But there's, they always seem to be random, so that's fine. And start off with the Volcaries. Got Ooh, a Volcaries from Lindsay as well. We're at parry with these. I'll move this over here. Really look on now, nothing. Yeah, that's how it be sometimes. You got double island as well. Yeah, I've been noticing that, just the doubling up in some packs like that. Doesn't happen too frequently though. I should actually keep track how many of the boost blocks. I was curious about that if there was like a set number. So that's one so far. I should show off some of these pack arts. Another Zapter. Let's see it. Ignector, Island, Bloy, Jolten, Tadpuff, Foamy, Gallop Foamy. Ooh, Dopel Aquarius. This is a very me pack. Bag of Winds and Ooh, Full Art Stratomaw. Dan's still in here. Pulled his moth. That's a pretty one. Not Majesty, but I'll take it. Ooh, the Stellar Arcturus. Yeah, it looks great. All right. There you go. It's a bit early on for that poll, so... Ooh, you should have guaranteed one more poll here in the spirit. So hopefully that's something cool. I'd love to see Vipyro. That's the only one I don't own between first edition and Kickstarter. Let's see. So definitely Spirit, maybe in its Stellar as well. Let's make this box real interesting. For the uh, rares, the hollows, nothing in particular I need. I love to pull some of the ones I did not pull out of my two boxes. Viscerous is always welcome, and so is Altar of Stars. I think those are the real chase pulls from a competitive perspective. Another Foamy. Hell Aquarius. Ooh, again. Glidesdale. Let's see. Elichix, Smoltuga, Wormite. This is where Lindsay, Karen's Opal twice. That's two packs, but that was only Ephros. Okay. Two packs, but that was only one duplicate there by the looks of it. Hmm. Was, uh... Yeah, it looks like they're either at the top or the bottom. I did notice that with my boxes where one of them had the card, both cards at the very top and went through real quick. And one had them tor at the very bottom. I think that's actually towards the mid. All right, Earth Smog, Earth Smog, Rummagem. That was 
double again. So I think that's three packs now where that's happened. Foamy. Oh, me. Gotta do it for science. And match C. So no hollow so far. Unless Lindsay surprised me with one. No. No? Oh, you ruined the pack. Oh, sorry. Imperial. Got the chicken. All right. Let's see. Next pack. Yeah. What, I'm scrunched up? I was just thinking, because there's always a catch with stuff like this. Sorting and organizing and putting away. And I spent the entire weekend organizing, logging, and putting away my haul from Friday. It was a lot. Do enjoy it, though. I'm hoping this one will go a bit quicker this time around. Clydesdale. Had three by fire if you want one. Okay, I'll let you know if I still am seeking one out. Still need to decide how badly I want one. Oh, an equal links. Cool. All right, moving on to the next packs here. Ooh, think about this. I still need to watch the Frostfall reveal from today. I did not watch that. I didn't see how the on the website they've been updating with all the reveals, which is super handy. I was checking that out today. Another foamy. I've been finding a lot of these, and I am not mad about that. Rice Rose. No hollows, but honestly makes it more exciting to see what I get. What? Bunch of doubles. Bunch of doubles? Let's see. Cracked. Veritaqua. Quackle. Veritaqua. Cracked. It's four now. Very water pack there. Cool. Yep. Oh, the Ambrosia Cornucopia. Yes. I'll need to watch to see exactly what Dan said before I can speak on it. But that is an exciting reveal. Speaking of Ambrosia Cornucopia, Jataya next pack. See it. Got fire pack incoming. Nekroth, Ignector, Atlantis, Pigust, Scythe. Earthquake, Hammer, into an Aphros. Love seeing the Aphros as well. So nope. Let's see if Lindsay has one. Sorlet, Urseer, Jolten, Tadpup, Aramare, Circoon, Chrysor. Ooh, Capricorn. Selfishly, I want that to be, I wish that was a hollow. Have you won before? It seems, no, I don't think so. Weird. Should have counted the packs. I noticed one was kind of floating at the top weirdly. Maybe they're a bit mismatched. All right, let's see. Another fire pack incoming. No hollows yet, other than the full art stratum off, but no regular hollows. Ty Flant. Cree roast in the chat? I got your elephant. Astra, but that's a great card. Race roast. Nope. Oop, that's not a water card. That goes there. <laughs> Titles will go hype. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Say there i meant so hard oh i got what you're saying yeah no i got you again i have to see exactly what dan said before i can really speak more on it uh scout or might boom bat but i think titles are a really cool way to introduce cards as we can see like with ambrosia and have it also just work with cards like jataya i think that's a really cool way to do it cool. oh cool she just ripped off the tap here. You see how they're all on there though? You feel it? Oh, see the wind die? Actually, yeah, you're right. It does look a bit darker, but also on the light other side, it's all light. I'll compare these at the end. That is interesting. Cool. Keep forgetting to show up the pack arts. Full Tempest here as well. Looking sick. I've seen that one. Yep. Definitely seen the commons. Like Gris. Samir, or is the wind dice dark compared to the founders one might just be the lighting? Oh, it definitely is very dark, but it's light on the other side. So I'm wondering if the blend just didn't happen as much on this dice as with other ones. All right. Jolten. Floy. I'll do that. Josh. Island. P. Gust. Elichik. Sparkit. Signetric. Astrabbit. Very thunder oriented pack. Trifernal. Still no hollows. Scaffold, P. Gust, Atlantis, Scaffold, Atlantis, that's five. Aramare, 
Red Sore, Blarachne. All right, let's get it. Um, Dark Cloud Wind Dice. It's just to get people hyped for just Wind Thunder decks. Full Tempest. Bottom heavy. Hey, I'll take it, especially with the Strata Moth in the early section of the box. Let's see, Zapter for the Spirit. There's the Drataya. Go along Cornucopia revealed today. Type Plant, Amput. Ivory. Ooh, both in the same pack. That's awesome. Javalantis, Zephrog, and Spinosect. If it was a uh, Kickstarter, that would be a hollow. Let's see it. Ooh, very talk to go with the Javalantis I pulled. Quackle, Sluggle, Urseer, Zephrog, Kinleo, Cinder, and another Capital. Ooh, into a Leviathan. That's awesome. Yes, I did see that. I mean, with cards, uh, let me check what's been revealed before I say anything. I think some of the stuff has been revealed, though. Let's see. Okay, yes. Yep, yep, yep. So yeah, with Stoke the Forge, Rise from the Depths, and Race to the Top, it is very nice that the stadiums got reprinted. I think, especially for sealed play, that is huge. You really don't want cards in there that just can't function because a card isn't in the set. I think that's one of the notes that was made when those cards got developed. Zapter, Type Plant, Ignector, Necra. Let's see if I can break the curse. Atlantis, Rumgem, Atlantis for that Rise from the Depths. Syracoon, Aeromare, Astrabit, into finally Exaltair. I already have a play set of these <laughs> in foil, so that's funny that that's the first one I get. You that's awesome. Luck than I, do tonight. I don't know if I'd say luck. Real stuff's incoming though. Stratomoth's pretty cool though. Uh, Tornado and Majesty. All right. D gain near the bottom of the box. Let's see. Let's. We're going to start seeing hollows like we're bound to. That open. But yeah, once we're done with that, I'll pull the box back on stream, the one that it all came in, showed off again. I'll sh compare the dice since I saw people asking about that. Win pack. And I'll show off the Lego I built. Try to get all that in at the very end. Tadpuff for the Majesty, Crackhead, Veritakla, Kinleo, Waspire, Lazarus, and a regular Hollow Stratomoth. There we go. Two Stratomoth, one box. Cool. I think I also had a Stratomoth already. So, so far, not two Hollows I needed. Still cool nonetheless just to have. Globby, Thunderstorm. Ooh, there we go. Lycoris. Lycoris Spirit. You kept that quiet, didn't you? Yeah. So, unless... My poker face. <laughs> so unless there's a stone in this box those are the two main pulls I, I love this lycris art i think i have three of them so i will take it because that is probably i think i don't know either this after and Atlas are definitely my three favorite i don't know which among them are is my true favorite though honestly i'm just happy it's not leviathan because i pulled two of those from my boxes so i don't need another one <laughs> I'll take another one. Don't get me wrong. I don't need it, though, for collection purposes. But Leviathan. I know. I think the spirit arts for set two have been revealed. Yeah, they have. I'm going for that Leviathan, Lindsay. Leviathan, but sparkless. Exactly. <laughs> I've just, once I found out the website had been updated with Frostfall, I've just had it open all day. By Pyro, so hopefully a fire pack. Mount Olympus, Sorlet, Ignector, Typhlant, Ivory, another Foamy. I got. I should know how many Foamies I got. It's, it's an uncommon. Pelicorius. That I feel like I've seen that a lot in this box. I'll take it. Alter. Yes. This is one of the cards that I really wanted because this is com from a competitive sense. This is probably one of the best hollows to pull. I don't know if it's. I would say it's the best just because Viscerous is. I think a bit better, at least in first edition, but I think moving forward, this card will be even crazier as we get more receive effects. I mean, right away, since I'm a water caster, again, I'm going, I'm sure this has been revealed, but I'm going to check for anything. Yep, Dratakwa, water, that's going to hit, be awesome just to be able to alter to protect the Dratakwa and get a recover too. Whale Ants. Uh, Whale Ants. I know it's been revealed. I need to refresh myself on its effect, though. It's been a bit since I read it. Where is Whale Ants? It's underwater. Probably underwater. Huh? 
Oh, Narpoon? Okay. I was about to say, that's not there. Narpoon, yeah. Foamy fishing, yep. Uh, Narpoon, yes. Just search out a Frost Celestial is very nice. I, I see what you mean. Got confused there for a second. I'm like, wait, has that? I was like, wait, yeah, that name's been announced before. Ooh, that's good. All good. Imperial. Thank you for the packs. Got another Tectorus pack here. Yeah, just it's Narpoon's definitely a nice style. Let's just search out Frost cards. Four attacks, solid. More of a Frost card than a Water card, though. I'm glad I checked, though, because <laughs> since Whale Lance hasn't been revealed yet before saying anything. This is also why I have it out here, just to make sure I don't say anything I'm not supposed to. Let's see. Leviathan, Ampa, Tide Plant, Ignector, Golden Apple, Atlantis, Sakurasaur, Refused, Like a Volt. Ooh, Nog. I'll always take a Nog. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I know Pelagrace is fine for water because water is generally more defensive, but I like that uh, Narpoon's more offensive. Because from what I've seen from Frost, it looks like it's more offensive overall. Globby? Have you not pulled a hollow yet? I pulled one. Pulled one. Okay, Falcane. Like this. <laughs> Just one. All right, well, let's see. How many packs do we have left? Because we've been doing two and two, so we can see if, like, there's a chance either an extra pack was added or a pack was missing. I've got five stacks. I feel stacks. like you have one more than me. I have two. Three? Okay, yes. Yeah. So we have the same amount of packs, just one side got an extra pack. That's okay. all. I thought I would have Look at these pack arts. Sonicor, Stratomoth, Voltempest, Tectoros. These look great. I love it. Alright, let's see. So how many hollows was it? Four hollows, I think, now? That I pulled that aren't the full art and spirit? Lycris, Wind, the P Gust, Typhlant, Sluggle. Seer, Sluggle, another duplicate, that's six packs, I believe. Javelantis, ooh, Galaxy, don't think I've seen that yet. Zephrog, Ambrosia, there's another hollow. These ones are solid. I got plenty Ambrosias and Nogs, but they're always solid to get because, like, they will be run, I imagine they're going to be run in decks for the foreseeable future, especially Ambrosia. There's a chance that I could fall off. Oh, there we go, Gato Bolt. Nice new hollow from first edition. Fortunately, not one that I need for my collection. Oh yeah, that's just because eight attack, eight attack solid, but the effect doesn't. It's kind of like a win more style effect, unfortunately, for Gato Bolt. Hopefully, we'll see some love for Gato Bolt in the in the future as well, because it's a cool Lustral. Fortunately, just kind of on the weak side for two cost. Earth, but hey, I don't know. Let me check before I say something. Probably doing too much yet. I don't know which chains can really help two costs survive, stick on board a bit better. Mount Olympus, Necra, Ignector, Boombat. There we go. Another galaxy. Zephrog. Ooh, Leonite. No hollows that I haven't already pulled. I forget which ones I specifically need. I believe. I think. Let's see, Rummagem, Gaffle, Atlantis, Turns of Bull, Clovey, Thunderbolt of Zeus, Tsunami. There's a hollow back there. Is it a Viscerous? <laughs> Trident. Yay! This is looking to be kind of like my first box on stream. If I had enough time and patience, I'd go back and watch to see how the hollows line up. But like Viscerous and the Altar of Stars in the same pack, for competitive purposes, this is a phenomenal box. So I'm very happy with that. All right, so let's see. Four more packs left, two for each of us. Let's see if we get anything good. I realize, I, I see 39 views, real-time viewers. Okay, cool. My webcam's blocking the real-time viewers. Leviathan, water pack, let's see. Earth Scout, Wormite, Smoltuga, Necra, got head there, Ignector, Thunderbolt to Zeus, Sparkit, Signetric, Crab, Molestation. Curious over set boxes, how many boxes have the same hollows? That'd be interesting to see. All right, let me check. While Lindsay's doing that, I'm going to see, where is it? Base set, Founders Edition. Do they have it updated? No, this is K 
Kickstarter. I really do forget what the other hollows are. Do we have that on here? Doesn't look like it. Pre-release. Oh, well. I'll figure it out later. Which ones I'm missing. All right, what do you got? Oh, right there. Right there. <laughs> Figust, Elichik, Smoltuga, Atlantis, Golnapple, Kinleo, Waspire. You did pull Hollow Blazerus. Rise from the Ashes. Looks really cool. Right, it doesn't it? I swear this is the same as my first box. I'm not complaining, Alter Stars Viscerous, but I do think it is the same as the first box I had open on stream. We're getting Rise from the Ashes as well. All right, final packs. Guess I just have to hope that my box has the hollows I am missing or Luck has the hollows I'm missing so we can trade around. That'd be handy. All right, let's see it. Last pack, Wind, Lycris, come on. I live really a play mat. Let's bring some good luck. Stellar luck, maybe? Let's see. Canic Forge. Nimbug. Nimbug's a good sign. Come on, Dan. Bless this pack. Ampup. Drops. Drataya. That's a good sign. Drataya did wonders for me in the prototype tournament. Ivory. I've also already pulled the hollow Ambrosia. Ambrosia Cornucopia is revealed today. Come on, Foamy. There we go. Pelaquarius. Uh, yes, please, KG. Pelaquarius and... Ooh, Sonicor. I don't remember if I had this one or if I pulled it. That's a one sleeve. Not what I'm looking for. I know the hollow... Uh, no, I'm not going to try to say. I'm just going to make a fool of myself if I want to know it. I'll have to check my binder for which ones I have as well. I can grab that. All right, let's see. Lindsay's final pack. Is she bluffing or is it nothing? Clovey. Oh, you 100% would. Don't <laughs> play that game with me. Opel Aquarius, is there? Ouchie. Oh, I forget. Empirix, cool. So it's a hollow. Fire packed with Empirix, that's appropriate. Okay, I'll take an Empirix. This card, I understand why people aren't playing it, but in like a sealed format, like when we played in the ECL2, this came in handy one week against Larry when we we're playing a Blazerous Mirror match. It's just a great card to side deck out for... Side deck in when... It, excuse me. Ignector was what I was running for going first, but if I'm not going first, I don't really want to lose my battle phase. So being able to side out Ignector for Empherixes to have a body that can stick on board came in real handy. All right, let's see what you think. Lotagun, that's right. Exalt Thermal Station, Krakatuga, Gatobolt. So the Lotagun is what I'm missing. I think I'm missing a few other hollows, like one or two other ones, but I have the Kickstarter version, so that's okay. I think I'm just missing the Lotagun, which I really want to get because I do like fruit. I know Wurtz is the fruit guy, but I also really like fruit as well. Jedi has done me well. All right, let me quickly go over the hollows again, because that's all the pulls here. So Rise from the Ashes, Ambrosia. I'm going to keep them in these stacks for sword. Ah, I can take them out. That's no problem. So Ambrosia, Nectar of the Gods, Altar of Stars. So the everything, I think the only other generic rune that's hollow is Circle the Sky that I didn't get here. So good suite here. Uh, this one, I mean, these three are just great. You definitely want them if you want to bling out your deck. Don't need that Pelicorius there. I don't think. <laughs> well, I'm going back down stack. For the wind ones, we got. It's a very wind box, by the way. We got Exaltair and Stratomoth, and paired with it is the Lycris Hollow Spirit and the Stratomoth Full Art. One I did not actually see from Kickstarter, so I'm happy there. Oh, uh, let me get a cub. I'm missing Logon as well. Yeah. I'll have to hunt around for that. I'll wait till after I open my final box this weekend and see what luck pulls as well before I go really hunting for it. Uh, Afros, Pandasin, Spinosect, Rice, Rose, Cracking are the ones that lost their hollow. Yep. Yeah, Fruit's really fun. I feel like it's a, it takes some skill to be able to pilot effectively, but it's a really fun kind of almost rogue deck. A rogue might, from a competitive sense, maybe not. It's a fun deck. I don't know if I call it rogue. So for the Thunder ones, we got Gatopult and Sonicore here. Really nice to see. And what about my Water Boys? I think it's just Molstacian that I got here. I think it might be the only Hollow for Water. Yep, one Molstacian. For Fire, I know I got the Emphrix and the Leonite. Yes, someone said Fruits. I didn't. I still haven't pulled a Hollow lot again. I really wanted one. Leonite Emphrix. Pretty awesome. And then I know in this deck I got the Viscerous. 
Don't think I missed any stellars. I'm just... We'll see when I go back through if I missed one. I don't think so. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve hollows. Clean twelve. So, what is that? One in three packs, I think? Is the correct math here if it's 36 box? Yeah, one in three. Well, that's a very bottom loaded one in three, though. I know you haven't. Hey, well, Wurtz, did you open your box from the influencer box? Or are you waiting to be able to record that? Ooh, that's the other thing I just want to check. Foamies. How many foamies did I get? Right on top. One. <laughs> here, I'm gonna, this is going to be more comfortable for my hand if I bring it down here. Sorry, it's not on camera. Probably should lower my desk because my hands are tired. Let's see. I've got two so far. Yes, they're open. <laughs> yeah. Again, where's Kareebra? I got all of his elephants. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Oh my gosh. One of these might have been in the blister pack. I don't remember. Oh, you will record? Oh, tomorrow. Okay. There's still a chance you can get your lot again. I'm ruined for you. So, foamies, how many did I get? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight is uncommon. I want to compare this to another uncommon. It's a lot. I think water is the most represented element this set by that stack. Let's count ivories. Let's do ivory for Kree, bro. Yeah, I, I would count galaxy normally, but let's do ivory. Play a little elephants. Two. Let's see. Three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, maybe it's not that crazy. Seven elephants. It's just the uncommon slot. I don't know. I feel like the uncommons were harder to get. Yet, maybe I'm misremembering the rares. I remember one of the rarity slots was especially difficult to complete play sets from just due to the how they were distributed in Kickstarter. Maybe I'm misremembering. Anyhow. Lindsay, can you hand me the box? Ooh, actually, before we do the box, can you unlace your knee from here, please, so I can back up? Let me go get the dice to compare. Do that real quick. Okay, so here, I'm gonna zoom in. Oh, pin that. So this is the Kickstarter dice here. Definitely a lot lighter, it is, because then here's one from the Pantera Star deck I opened last week. Hey, Keebs. Came here right at the end. No stellar luck, nothing too crazy, but it was a lot of fun to open. It's definitely a lot darker. Like, it looks like the back of this dice matches up with the darker parts of this dice. And, like, even with this dice here, it's even darker, as you can see. That's crazy. You can match it with this dice, but I feel like, no, I think it's about the same. It's about the same. That's crazy, though. Okay, I'm here for it. Differentiates it a bit from... But not that this is that... This was far off enough from where... Oh, you can't see. I'm off on the side. The Kickstarter dice differentiated itself well enough for... Oh, this is a bad comparison from, I think, Kickstarter water as well. But it does it a bit more. Guys, zoomed in. Catch up on the VOD. Well, I'm doing a recap right now. Got nothing crazy from box. Did get Viscerous and Alter. You can see Viscerous there, Alter. Uh, let me next. What do I do? Let's recap. Let's recap the box. Show it off again. I know some people showed up late. No clue if you all could hear me there. Sorry. I'm going to recap the box next because I don't know if you all could hear me here. And actually, you know, let's switch back to webcam. This probably will be easier. Say as I struggle to find my mouse. There we go. Knocking over cards. So we got this gorgeous box here. I need to do it like that because there's my webcam. And there we go. Looks great. Of course, we got Elestrals. Tectoros on this side. Little Tempest on the other side. Nothing on the bottom here. Not that there needs to be. And on the inside, you can see it a bit better here. Elestrals. Tectoros, Full Tempest. 
on the inside bottom celestial symbol as well and i'm a sucker for these boxes i got some from some vanguard products i use for storage so of course now this is just going immediately for storage for my cards and now it's all themed and i absolutely love it uh, so final thing i was going to show off was the lake i was working on last stream i'll give that a second but since i'm moving away from elestrals i just wanted to say a huge thank you to dan and the elestrals team for sending me this box it was so much fun to open i can't wait to see other people opening theirs and seeing what they get uh i'm pretty i'm sure a bunch i think i saw powder had may have received one on twitter from what he was saying so i'm excited to see even non elestrals people receive it their reactions their audiences reactions. hopefully we can just see a big boom in the community now that product has been officially released people get their hands on it and it's just an exciting time like we feel like we've been waiting for this forever and i'm happy to be a part of least history with these influencer boxes and showing them off to the community so yep thanks again to dan it really appreciative of this but now let me go get the lego for those of you who are here shut off I love this. This was so much fun to build. It was very relaxing that Saturday morning when I finished it. Just a nice little zen garden. Some green tea making here. The trees look gorgeous. Oh, Powder Drewby got one. Yeah, that makes sense. It turned out great. I have no clue where I'm going to put this. Probably once Lindsay and I move, I'm hoping that I can set up my desk so I can have a bookshelf behind me and this can go on it. It's definitely not any room on my desk. But that'd be ideal. I can display a bunch of stuff I have as well. Like I have a little cube shelf over there and one cube just has a bunch of stuff in it. But yeah, that, that's a Lego here. Uh, let me switch back over to my camera or my phone cam and hope that it is still on. Where's desk view? There's desk view. Yeah, and you can see there's even little fish in the pond here. It turned out great. Started this on stream. Baron's backyard. I know, right? <laughs> I'm so excited to, Lindsay, I get to go to Japan next year, and we're really excited for it as well. But yeah. Switch back to webcam. Uh, I'm going to put this back before wrapping up the stream. <laughs> I'm not going to risk it. Oh, your hours of hard work. Yes. Okay. All right. Let me get caught on chat. You heard your name. I was showing off your backyard. It's not, that sounds really weird. <laughs> your backyard if it was a Lego. Eh, that doesn't help. <laughs> oh, I see. It's going to... Okay. Yep. Um, yeah, that's about it. A lot of fun to do this. I'm... We'll be back for more streams when Shadow Stars Month 3 comes out, that we should be receiving the emails next Monday, or that shipping confirmations next Monday. So, of course, I'll be streaming that as i always been. 10 more packs. Probably be a more low-key stream. Uh, then, of course, once we get Frostfall, definitely going to stream opening product then. Will be a bit interesting because I'll be moving around that time to see what happens. But it, I've been enjoying these, so I'm just going to keep doing them as I can. So... Thank you all for coming out tonight, and I'm going to head out, so hope you all have a good night for all of you who are Europe and in the Americas. Baron, I hope you have a good day, because I know you're just getting to work, or probably at work, so yeah. Take it easy.